Hi there, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMine Blocks. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to CPU mine Pascal coin to a pool. The pool that we're going to be using is Nano Pool, and then we're going to be sending those funds to an exchange uh, called Polonix. So, CPU mining to Nano Pool to Polonix. So in the previous video, uh, I showed you how to set up the AMD GPU miner uh, for this uh, pool mining of Pascal coin. And a lot of people asked me in the comments um, how to CPU mine in the same way. So this particular miner, the Pascal coin miner version 1, which is the one that's available uh, from the, the main page of the Nano Pool website. I'll also put a link in the video description, including the actual batch files. Um, it doesn't actually say in this particular uh, readme, but it does actually support CPU mining as well as um, open CL mining for uh, AMD devices. So that means that you can mine, sorry, just to uh, clarify, you can mine on your CPU whether it's Intel or AMD. So I'll include an actual batch file uh, with the actual miner itself and it will help you get started. So if we start off on this Start My Miner, uh, list devices. I'll show you what's inside there. So we've got this Pascal coin miner space dash h and then on the second line we've got pools and that should save this batch file. So if we start that it shows you a little bit about the actual miner uh, in terms of configuration but right down the bottom you've got this platforms and devices available. Let me just center that. So you, on the left hand side you can see they're all on platform 0 and then we've got device 0, 1 and 2. So at the top we've got my two RX uh, 470s, they're my GPUs, and then device number two is the uh, Intel i5 uh, 6600K. So with this particular CPU, you can run it um, just in CPU mode, or you can run it as an open uh, CL device. Um, and I'll explain the differences uh, between the two. Uh, basically, not all CPUs might support open CL, uh, uh, you know, might not be able to run them all as an open CL device. So if you go back to the the main sort of a folder window and we go to the start my minor dot bat, I'll show you what's inside here. And by the way, I'm assuming you've kind of watched my uh, GPU mining video on this, it, it will clarify quite a few details. Um, but I'll just give you a, a quick rundown on what the different components to it are. So the first of all, we've got this Pascal coin miner dot exe, that's the call to the actual you know, program name. Then we've got that's a sorry, hyphen s, then we space, then we've got the port address and the actual port number. Okay and then here we've got our actual uh, devices that we're actually going to be mining on. So here I've got it set up for platform 0 and device 0 and also device 1. So there are two GPUs, the two RX 470s. Um, and then this part here is, the first part is the actual Polonix deposit address and the second part is a uh, like a payment ID. This part here just to work a, a reference number. So this tells the pool basically where I want my payments um, going and also helps to uh, track it. So you need to change these to your own uh, Polonix deposit details, okay? Right, now going back to the actual uh, platform and device IDs. So in this instance, we've currently got it set to mine on device zero and one, which is the two GPUs. So what we could also do is we could add in the CPU. So now it would be mining on the two GPUs and device two is our CPU. So it's gonna use all threads of our CPU and gonna use all three devices together. So I'll just show you what happens when we do that. I'll go to save and I'll run the actual miner. So this might be good for most people, but the only uh, problem with it is that it's gonna use all of your uh, CPU threads. So what you might find is that your machine runs slowly or that the, because of the CPU mining process, it might actually slow down the GPU mining process, uh, particularly if you've got um, other things uh, running as well in the background. So that's one of the reasons why you may or may not wish to, to use this um, kind of method. Um, but there is a second method which is um, a little bit easier on your system and it will allow you to run other things at the same time. Um, so you can see the two devices that are running. By the way, I've got my clock speeds just kind of um, set to um, default settings, reset the knot they're not optimized or anything, so don't take too much notice of the actual uh, clock speeds. Um, but we've got two GPUs running at the top, and then we have the CPU miner uh, running at the bottom, which is obviously getting a much slower hash rate compared to the GPUs. So that's one way of doing it, and I'll just uh, close that. And there is a second way of doing it, so I'll just copy this batch file, and I'll just paste it, and we'll just call this one. Um, 
you call this one CPU only. So now if we right click and edit this, so it's the same batch file as just a moment ago. Well, we're going to leave all of these details the same except for this part here, which is where our platform and devices are. So we're just going to select all of that and we're going to delete it. Then we're going to do dash or hyphen C. Then we're going to do a space. And then the number that you put in here is the number of CPU threads. So, or cores for your CPU is another way to describe it. So this, um, my Intel i5 um, has four cores. So in this instance, I'm just going to use three cores. It, generally you will want to use one less core than your CPU actually has. That means you've kind of got one left over for running Windows and doing bits and pieces in the background. So rather than your machine running a bit slow and sluggish. So we've done CPU mining, three threads, and the other details are the same. Now we're going to save this. And we're going to run it. And this time what's going to happen is only the actual CPU is going to run or mine for us. They're connected to the pool now, so now we should be able to get some work from them and then I should be able to continue on with my demonstration. Okay, so now we've connected to the pool, you can see that the actual miner is updated and you can see that we are running at 4.2 uh, mega hashes. So like I said, that's the current speed on those uh, free cores. You can change the actual cores to um, you know whatever you like depending on um, your CPU, just like I say, I normally use it one less core than the, the actual cores. Um, and then after that, obviously you'll be able to put in your payload details or your, your payment ID in the actual Nanopool website and you'll be able to see your work results, all that kind of uh, business. So that's it for this video guys, hopefully, hopefully you've enjoyed watching and um, yep, I'll leave it 